Good morning, everyone. My name is Utoxin, and welcome to my next Factorio tutorial. And uh, I am his sidekick, Karen, ready to help school you. <laughs> um, all right, so today's tutorial is going to be on, like, early game smelter designs. Fun! Um, over here on the far left, I have one of the more common uh, smelter designs that I've seen people use early game. Uh, it's not a bad design. It works well. It's relatively compact. Um, one thing I don't like is it uses mixed belts. Um, I'm not a fan of mixed belts unless they're absolutely necessary. And as you'll see in a minute, they are not absolutely necessary for smelter designs. And in fact, I think this smelter design has a few key flaws. The first of which is that if you want to upgrade past steel smelters, this design does not lend itself to being upgraded well. Um, because electric smelters take up an additional space in both dimensions, which means that this is too compact. And even if you space out these smelters like so, uh, because of how they're spaced, here, let me just do this. Let's say they're here, uh, like so, just as a comparison for the belts. So even if the spacing was like that, because your ore is coming in on the outside, you can't get it into the electric smelter if you upgrade, um, because there's no longer room for an inserter. So I never liked that. Um, and for the record, I'm playing with a creative mod for my tutorials, just so it's easier. Um, so this is my early game smelter design, and it's a fair bit larger, uh, maybe, what about 50% larger, I think? Um, and it's wider, and it does require more inserters, um, which is I mean, a little bit of a downside, but you can build it up over time. Um, this is designed to be a full belt of smelting. Um, this is a full yellow belt. Um, and you'll see later there's an advantage to this. So this takes the ore down the center and outputs the metal down the center. And then it takes coal down the outside. And one nice thing, and let me pull out these poles so I can show this, is that this design is completely tileable. Um, and it's, it tiles on the coal. And so I could put another one here. Let me put it down. And like I said, I'm creative mode, so that just kind of plops down. Um, and so I can tile that, and then this can be a different metal without having to worry about these being mixed metal belts, which is really, really nice. Um, and then if we want to upgrade, it gets even simpler. Um, so let's say we decide we want to upgrade the smelting line. Um, we can come in and we can tear out all of that stuff, the smelters and the outer line and the outer power poles, like so. And, oh wow, this left those on the ground, that's funny. And then we'll have our electric smelters and we can come in and we can just plop the electric smelters right there. And with only that change, this is now running on electric smelters. So I think that's a pretty nice thing. And the other nice thing is that because of how the ratios work out, You'll see over here, this is one of those that I have fully upgraded to electric smelters. And I have also upgraded it to red belts in the center because the same ratio that works for stone furnaces for a yellow belt works for electric furnaces and steel furnaces and red belt. And so that works beautifully. Um, and one thing I realized is my blueprint doesn't have an upgrade that is somewhat necessary. Um, you'll notice here at the end I have underground belts here for these last two smelters, um, just so that the belt can be fully compressed. Um, so let me show you quickly how we build it. Um, we have our outer belt, which is, you know, this is our like our coal belt. And then we have, and I keep hitting Q to do a picker thing from my inventory, but that doesn't work. So then we have that. Then we have two belts, then that, and then the other coal belt. And then you just pick which one of these you want to be your output belt and which one you want to be your input belt. 
and then you do long handed that way, and other and normal inserters that way, and these need to both extend up like that. The one that the long handed well, obviously, the one that gets put onto is your output. The one that gets picked up from is your input. Um, you put inserters out here to insert in, and then you put power poles here, 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 and here, assuming you're using small power poles. If you have large power poles by some chance, um, you can just put them here. Um, you can just put large power poles, or medium power poles, I suppose, there, and that works beautifully. And then you just repeat that pattern all the way down, leaving one space between furnaces, um, like so. And then it will allow you to later upgrade to this without taking up any additional space. Um, and yeah, I think that is a beautiful solution. Um, it is simpler to build, in my opinion, than this one because of the fact that this doesn't tile cleanly and because of having to do this little thing up here with the splitters and the and the belts to build the the mixed belts so yeah i just wanted to share that with you um if you have any questions please make sure to ask them down in the comments um and i will do my best to answer you and that is going to be it for now thank you for watching everyone